Jesus. we want to see that. I don't we know. It's so that, hard. That oh my bad. Let me make sure. We want to see the rematch. Listen, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm gonna say it again. Savannah Marshall will defeat Clarissa Shields. It's not really that difficult. And I'm a Clarissa Shields supporter, but I've learned, and it's unfortunate in this rough, rough landscape of boxing these days, is that when you have this skin color and you pick Savannah Marshall, they want to throw race into it. But it's like, yo, overall, she's better than her. Clarissa Shields is a five foot six, five foot seven pressure fighter. I can't call her a power puncher. This woman is a boxer. Like, this woman's good. I mean, yeah, she beat up this nan tonight. Somebody, somebody's nana. You know, but this nana was a late replacement. They didn't, they, you know, they had to get her some work. So they had to get some disabled, some disabled disability work. Be able to get, you know, some pension work. You know? But this good is, like, naturally good. Like, she's gifted. And remember, she beat Clarissa Shields before. Even though it's the amateurs. Still, styles make fights. I'm T-Street Controversy with FightBeat360.com. We cover every single major fight live. Just got finished watching the full uh, Ebony Bridges versus, excuse me, Shannon Courtney versus Ebony Bridges. Shout out to Shannon Courtney. Conor Ben and um, Samuel Vargas is next. I wouldn't be surprised if Sam Vargas wins. Let's listen to the particulars. Listen to Somewhere the post-fight right interview. Now, Clarissa and Shields see if she throws some so shade at Clarissa Mace Shields. Sub doesn't mean anything. Bring her on. Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, Clarissa Shields is making her Bob MMA debut. Williams calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage. One minute and 11 seconds of round number three. Your winner by count out. She's still undefeated and still the WBO middleweight champion of the world. Savannah, the silent assassin, Marshall. She's so six Savannah feet Marshall tall. rolls on. We're still trying to get word whether the IBF middleweight belt is vacant. We know that Clarissa Shields holds uh, a whole host of others, but the IBF is listed as vacant on box rec. Could it be that she tries to line up somebody like Ema Cozen for unification? So here, let me, um, attempting... you know, I mean, there's some fights that can get her, like a fight with uh, uh, Christina Hammer, depending on what she's doing. Was she trying to go to the Olympics? How did that work out? Or is she going? Um... You know, fights that can stick in like the fans, you know, eyes. She did fight Hannah Ronkin. The girl that she was supposed to fight, Hermes. Um, I think they should. Re I think they are going to revisit that, right? But right now, I do want to see her start getting significant fights because right now, Clarissa Shields is surpassed her, and Clarissa Shields is the A side, even though I have Savannah Marshall possibly beating her. So take your time out, like the video, please subscribe. She's about to do her post-fight interview, and we're going to hear what she wants to do next. She's over there with Sky now. It's been silent. You're just smiling every now and then, but it's brewing, and it's, it's bubbling, and it's going to be some fight if and when it happens. She's beaten Ashley Curry, Danielle Bassieri, Boris Lana Goranova, Hannah Rankin, and now Maria Lindbergh. All in really, really good fashion to retain the belt that just sits over her right shoulder, the WBO World Middleweight title. I don't think many would bet against her adding to those spoils down the line. Comprehensive, calm, relaxed, powerful. May well be the next start of British women's boxing. And she's standing by now with uh, her promoter, Eddie Hunt. All right, let's hear what's next. Let's hear from it. Savannah. Savannah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this week, uh, you're obviously on edge and well aware that a late change of opponent <laughs> brings dangers. But as it turned out, Maria Limburg coming in at a week's notice, um, it was an easy night's work for you. Just talk us through it. Firstly, Utmost respect for Maria. Honestly, I, I, I'm really grateful that she, she stepped in because Sunday it looked like I wasn't even fighting. And yeah, change of opponent, it does. It, it is a bit hard to take, thinking you've, you've trained for weeks for, on a certain style. Um, tough, she's never never been stopped. I didn't think it would go like that, I really didn't. But I'm, I'm happy with how I performed. And I'm Broke my hand. 
I have a One box thing, of fractures. very relaxed now um, outside the ring, but also very relaxed inside the ring. In and I wonder if weeks. that um, sort of more relaxed style is, is making you punch harder. It's something that Peter Fury and yourself have always been very pro on, you know, being relaxed will bring natural punching power. 100%. It's all about flow. Um, everything Peter teaches, it's, it's all about hitting correctly. And the, the, the style he teaches, it gets the utmost power. Um, yeah, I, I, to be honest, I get more nervous for the press conferences than, <laughs> than, the, than the fights. But um, look, I'm over the moon with the progress I'm making with Peter. You know where we're going now, don't you? All the talk is going to be about one particular fight, Clarissa Shields mm -hmm. and yourself. In your opinion, can that fight happen from your side? We'll go to Eddie Hearn next. Do you Let's want see if it can that happen fight? Fury. Are you that you will win that fight? Joshua. 100%. I punch too hard for Clarissa Shields. I do. I punch far too hard. And she doesn't want to know. I said last year, she's not interested. She'd much rather roll about in the octagon. She'd much rather call out Katie Taylor, who's four weight classes below her. Mm. She doesn't want to know. But I'm not going to wait about forever for her. I'd like to get out again in the summer, get another Ooh. title. The IBF's faking at my weight. If not, I'd like to go up, back up to super middle, get one of the titles off the, the girls up there, and then if she gets some guts, a big show down there at the end of the year. Promoter Eddie Hearn, are we any closer? Um, I mean, this is an opportunity for Somebody me to Somebody got sent an offer. How do you make that deal? I'm sure Mark Taffet, Dimitri Slater, Clarissa Shields herself will see this. What do you need to do to make that fight happen? What can you do? So we're, we're actually we're making good progress. I've had a number of calls with Mark Taffet and Dimitri Salita. Um, you know, of course, they, they know how dangerous the fight is. They want a load of money, and I'm prepared to pay a load of money because I think it's a tremendous fight. And I'll back her every day of the week. Talk I love Clarissa says. Shields. I think she's great. I think she's done such a great job for women's boxing. There is no way she goes 10 rounds with Savannah Marshall. Savannah Marshall is the only girl to beat Clarissa Shields in her entire life. She beat her in the amateurs, she will beat her in the professionals. I am so, so convinced. And I rate her. I think she's tremendous. I think she's a pound for pound top three. Me too. But she just, she cannot, she, she will, she's wide open. She can't stand up to her power. She's the hardest pound for pound puncher in boxing, unquestionably. And she's doing it, just not even going through the gears. Like you say, the flow is there, it's so natural. And Lindbergh, late replacement, I know. She's been in with, you know, what previous world champions, loads of them, four-time world champions. She's never been stopped. She's never looked like being stopped. She couldn't stand up to the power. The look on the face was, oh, I've never felt power like this before. But it's not about calling Clarissa out because we want to get the fight made. But that is the fight, right? It's right up there. You talk about Katie Taylor against... You know, I mean, she's got Natasha Jonas. It's a huge fight. You've got Amanda Serrano. These are super fights. Shields against Marshall is a super fight that can headline in America or in England. We can do two fights. We can do one fight. I don't care. Let's just make the fight. I'm going to do everything I can to try and make it. But like Savannah said, love to get her out, maybe for the IBF title again, and you know, maybe put them both on the same card. I don't know. But that is the ultimate fight for both girls. The ultimate fight doesn't get any bigger. There's no other options for Clarissa Shields in boxing, really. Because Savannah Marshall, and she's a competitor. Especially and since Savannah the senior Brock lost. And I know, you know, for all the quote tweets, it will eat her up inside. Because it's the only person that's ever beaten her. And she will beat her again, I promise. Mm, mm, mm. Savannah obviously Let me go to that. Clarissa Shields' uh, Twitter. It's not the easiest of, of, of jobs. Um, capturing a world title, for some people, that's enough. You've made no <laughs> secret that it's all the belts. I want every belt I can get my hands on. I just wonder, now that you're a world champion, do you feel you any know she give you any more confidence? Or are you just... Savannah Marshall, the Savannah Marshall we've always known. She is. It's just made me more hungry. I want more belts. I want to be able to go like that with all four. <laughs> the ring round me waist. That's what I want. Brilliant. Well, we're making it. Well done. Cheers. Well, some performance from her again tonight and uh, very, So very we're about to get to, to the main event. So, of course, listen, I'm not going to keep saying the same thing in every video because I've already talked about it. I want the fight to happen. And it is the only fight for both of them, realistically, even though... You know, um, Savannah Marshall going to have some build-up fights fighting people like, you know, um, uh, Christina Hammer, which is a fight I would really like to see. But nonetheless, the Clarissa Shields fight is the fight, like, for the people. You know, and, and with women's boxing, they can't afford to be bullshitting around. Like, you know, for them, big fights, they're not, like, this is not men's boxing yet. They, they should be, like, riding this, like, pioneer wave right now. But I really do feel that Clarissa Shields want to make as much money as she can, you know, to fight and get in the ring. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it. 
If Eddie Hearn, if you can juice him to get the money, then juice him to get the money. But as long as you motherfuckers get into the ring. I'm T-Street Controversy with 5 view 360com Time to get to the main event. Please subscribe.